how to add a server icon to your Minecraft server. On my desktop here, I have an image called Websplaining Logo Modified. And this is the image that we're going to be adding as the server icon to our Minecraft server. Before we begin the process of adding this image as our server icon, I'm first going to show you the current default icon of our Minecraft server. Let's begin by opening up my CMD terminal window here, just to show you that my Minecraft server is indeed running and is running on my local computer here. Next, I'm going to minimize this and open up my Minecraft client. I'm going to left click on multiplayer and then go to add server. Here I'm going to give my server a name. I'm going to call it Websplaining, the same name as my YouTube channel. In the server address, because I'm running my server on my local computer, in the server address I can either put the number zero or the two words together, local host. For this video I'm going to be going with the number zero. If you're running your server on an online server host provider, put in the IP address of the server that you're hosting your Minecraft server on. Once you have entered in your server address, left click on done. Once done, your Minecraft client will immediately begin pinging your Minecraft server. You may need to left click on refresh. As you can see guys, we have full connection bars here and on the left hand side here, next to our server's name and server description is the current server icon of our Minecraft Minecraft server, which is the default Minecraft server icon. So what we're going to be doing in this video is changing this default server icon to the image of the Websplaining logo that I showed you on my desktop. Before we can begin this process, we're going to need to stop our Minecraft server if it is currently running. So I'm going to minimize my Minecraft client and then open back up the CMD terminal window here. In this CMD terminal window, I'm going to type the word stop and hit enter. This will immediately stop our server. Once you have done that, we can start the process of changing our default server icon. The next thing you're going to need to do is locate the image that you're going to be making as your server icon. As you can see, it's on my desktop here. It's called the Websplaining Logo Modified. Once you've done that, you need to check the file type and dimensions of the image that you're going to be using as your server's icon. To do this, simply right click on the image and navigate to where it says Properties and left click on Properties. Once done, the general tab of your image's properties will open. Navigate to where it says File Type. As you can see, the file type of my image is PNG. This is the correct file type for our Minecraft server to use this image as our server icon. If the file type of your image is not a PNG and is a JPEG image, for example, I'll put a link in the video description and at the top right hand corner of this video as a card titled how to convert JPEG to PNG image with a transparent background. And like the video title says, this video will help you convert your image's file type, if it is a JPEG, into a PNG image file type, which is what we need for our image to be used as a server icon. All right, guys, now that we've established that, once you have the correct file type of your image, the next property of our image that we need to make sure is correct is our image's dimensions. Left click on the details tab in your images properties and navigate to where it says dimensions. As you can see, the current dimensions of my image is 64 x 64, meaning that the width of my image is 64 pixels and the height of my image is also 64 pixels. This exact image dimensions of 64 x 64 pixels is the exact image dimensions we need for our image to be to be used as a server icon for our Minecraft server. If your image is greater or less than the dimensions of this image or unproportional and you want to make it proportional, I'll also put a link in the video description and at the top right hand corner of this video to one of my videos on how to resize images or icons quickly and easily in Windows 10, no installation required. This video will help you resize your image and help you turn an unproportional image such as a rectangle image into a square image of equal width and equal height, which is exactly what we need for our image to be used as a server icon for our Minecraft server. All right, guys, once you've adjusted your image's dimensions and file type, all that's left to do now is to rename your image to something very specific. To do this, all you need to do is right click on your image and scroll all the way down to where it says rename. Left click on rename. Once done, delete the current name of your image and then type the following server dash icon. 
make sure that it is all in lowercase and exactly what I have typed. Once you have done that guys and renamed your image to server dash icon, hit enter. And with that final adjustment to your image, you're ready to add this image with your Minecraft server files so that your Minecraft server can use it as your server icon. So again guys, just to reiterate, you need to make sure that your image is of file type PNG. The next thing you need to make sure is that your image is of dimensions 64 x 64 pixels, 64 pixels in width and 64 pixels in height, a perfect square. And lastly, you need to make sure your image has been renamed to server dash icon. Great, so once you've done all that, locate your Minecraft server's files. For me guys, my Minecraft server files is in a single folder on my desktop here called letsplayvanilla.com. I'm going to double click on this folder here to open it. And as you can see guys, in this folder, all my Minecraft server files are here, such as the logs folder, the worlds folder, the EULA text document, our bat file if you're on Windows, our server.jar, our server.properties, etc, etc. Once you have your Minecraft servers folder containing all your files open, all that's left to do is to drag and drop your new server icon image into that folder. So all I'm going to do is simply left click on the server dash icon image, drag it into this folder which contains all my Minecraft servers files and let go. And this will simply move the server dash icon image into the same folder as all our Minecraft server files, as you can clearly see. What you need to do next, guys, is start your Minecraft server once again. So I'm just going to maximize this folder here and then find my Minecraft start command here, which is my batch file because I'm on Windows. All I simply need to do is double click on this batch file to start my server. If your Minecraft server files is on a Linux operating system, all you need to do is run the code to start your Minecraft server. So all I'm going to do now, guys, to start my Minecraft server is double click on the batch file and the CMD terminal window here will open. I'll be back with you guys once my Minecraft server has started. All right, guys, as you can see, our Minecraft server is now running. Next, I'm going to minimize the CMD terminal window and open back up my Minecraft client. So I'm just going to navigate back down to the taskbar here and left click on the Minecraft client icon here. Once done, I'll be brought back to the play multiplayer page here in our Minecraft client where we can choose our server to join. As you can see guys, our Minecraft server titled Websplaining is once again in the list, but as you can see the server icon still remains the default server icon that I showed you at the start of the video. This is because we haven't refreshed the server playlist to reflect the changes we have just made to our server icon. So all I'm going to do now is navigate to the bottom here to where it says refresh and simply left click on refresh. Once done, you can see that the default server icon will immediately refresh and change to the same image that we added as the server icon for our Minecraft server. And there we go, guys. Now all that's left to do is to join your Minecraft server and play it. So all I'm going to do is quickly left click on the server here and then left click on join server to be connected to my Minecraft server. And on that note, guys, that pretty much concludes the video on how to add a server icon to your Minecraft server. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like, comment down below, and most importantly of all, subscribe to support the channel. I'll see you on the next video. Why is it so